Here is a logo design class I teach which guides you through the process of creating a fun little rocket themed logo. I wanted to include this class in the course because it does a great job of combining the shape builder tool, the type tool, it gives you some basic logo layout techniques. So strap in and enjoy. Welcome. Today we're going to design this logo right here and hopefully under an hour uh, we're going to do something pretty close to it. So this is a great class to take if you are really wanting to practice your logo design skills, your pen tool skills. We're going to go over the shape builder tool as we put this together to make it a lot quicker and easier to develop. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to slide this off to the side and what I like to do is since we're doing a rocket and I just can't draw a rocket just off the top of my head. I like to get a little photo inspiration, so I found this on Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. It's a website where you can find free photography to use. I'm going to use this as kind of a guide. I'm going to go ahead and trace a few of these rocket and shuttle elements, and then I'll be able to use the Shape Builder tool and the Pen tool to kind of make it my own. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have the Pen tool, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to draw half of this shape. Then I can copy and paste it and reflect it to create the whole shape. So I don't have to sit there and try to make sure all my curves on this side matches this side. We're going to be able to duplicate it so it'll be a perfect match. I'm going to go ahead and start somewhere here in the middle. I could probably even zoom in just a tiny bit, but I think I, I might be able to handle it at this size. Yeah, let me zoom in. That can't hurt. Let's zoom in to 300%. That might help. Kind of when I'm drawing a little bit and show you guys some more detail. Okay, so let's get the pen tool. There's a little bit of a curve. So I'm just if you if you're familiar with the pen tool already, then you'll know exactly what I'm doing. Just clicking, and then anytime I want a curve, I click and hold the mouse. I'm gonna continue. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna end up customizing this rocket or the shuttle to make it our own. We don't want it to look exactly like NASA's space shuttle. We want to kind of create our own rocket. So I want to kind of make sure, see this little pink line? That's exactly on top of, this, this is going to be aligned with the top anchor and the bottom anchor. And we want to make sure we have a straight line. So when we copy and duplicate it, it matches perfectly this line going down the bottom. So I can always just take my direct selection tool Kind of move it to make sure I snap. There we go. And if you want to be able to kind of see these little pink lines that kind of indicates when your things are center aligned, go to view and go make sure smart guides are selected. That really helps you when you're doing this kind of fine tuned stuff. So I don't really like this little curve, so I'm just going to go back and adjust a little bit. There we go. So I think I'm ready to copy and paste. I'm copying, pasting. And I'm going to go up to transform and I'm going to reflect it. So just do preview if you don't know if you need to do horizontal or vertical and that kind of helps you out. So I'm going to go ahead and match these two together just like that. And I may need to go ahead and move my rocket photo out of the way so I can get a better. I want these to be seamless. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my pen tool, just kind of noodle around with it a little bit. There we go. Let me join the center right there. And so I didn't quite get my line perfectly vertical. That's okay because we can noodle around and get it to be totally covered. So you don't want you don't want, you don't want to have any gaps. So let's go ahead and join this together with the pin tool or with the uh, shape builder tool, which is right here. I actually teach a shape building class if you want to really master this tool. So the first thing you want to do is select the two different elements. These the left and the right side. And then I, I select my Shape Builder tool, and notice how I hover over it. I'm going to go ahead and click and hold down the mouse. I can go ahead and select both, release, and boom, it just joined it into one nice vector shape. So we have our rocket, or our, actually our shuttle, already done, and we're going to do our rockets next. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to go ahead and take our uh, shuttle, and I'm going to go ahead and flip it to stroke, just so I can kind of see 
what I've done already and let me kind of make it a crazy bright green just so I kind of know where I've been and what has already been created. That is not a bright green. Let's make that bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and drag our shuttle back kind of where the outline was and let's go ahead and do these rockets and the rocket booster. We're going to do the same principle. We're going to do half of it and we're going to use flip it around. Use the shape builder tool to build it so that we don't have to sit there and try to match it and hand trace the whole thing, which would be almost impossible to match both sides with accuracy if we didn't do it, if we had to do it manually. Let's go ahead and zoom back out on this one. I think the rockets are a little bit bigger. And they go all the way down here. There we go. See that pink line? That means that's perfectly vertical. These two anchor points at the bottom and the top are aligned. Let's go ahead and make that black. Let's make it bright green so we kind of know. And I'm going to go ahead and send this backwards in the layering system here. And I'm going to go ahead, yeah, let's keep it that way. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same principle. We're going to copy and paste. We could go to transform, reflect. And we'll go ahead, go ahead and drag this out so I can kind of see, make sure there's no gaps or anything between the two. Shape Builder tool. I'm going to select everything first, then I go to the Shape Builder tool. Just draw over both, and there's our main rocket. I'm going to send this backwards in the layering system. And I'm going to go ahead and make, no longer make that a stroke. Kind of start to see our little rocket come together. Let's do our rocket boosters, and this is where I'm going to kind of deviate just a tiny bit. Uh, let's see. I might actually trace these by hand. These do not seem super complicated. I'm just going to just hand trace these. What's great about these is I can just copy and paste and I have my other side since they're the same exact booster rocket. Let's make that a different color for now. It's not going to be permanent, but it just kind of helps us differentiate. This is kind of what we got going on right now. Let's make that black. And um, next we're going to kind of uh, finish out the bottom of the rest where we're going to get a little more creative because this is all blocked. So we're just going to use our imagination to kind of see what the bottom of this might look like. And then once we have the rocket put together, we'll be able to start uh, doing our seal logo and finding the best placement for, for our rocket. This is where we get to be a little creative with kind of finishing out this bottom half since we have no clue what it really looks like. But I feel like there should be kind of like two rockets coming out. I want to have the rocket kind of having some, some engine smoke coming out of it. So let's go ahead and draw kind of two exhaust engine areas. And since there's two, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Let me noodle around. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit here. So now we're going to add a little bit of shading by using a flat design. So with flat design, you don't use a lot of different layers and shapes. You use as few shapes as possible to create the effect of 3D or shadowing. So in this example, this looks like a 3D rocket or shuttle, but it's only really just a lighter red and a darker red, but it gives that appearance of shadowing. So we're going to do that same thing right now. We're just going to take these elements and divide them in half. Uh, by using the Shape Builder tool, dragging them back over our main element, and playing around with coloring. So let's go ahead and start with our main rocket. I'm actually going to go ahead and join this whole rocket together, at least this bottom part of the rocket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste. I'm just going to do this one at a time. I'm going to take a rectangle tool, shape tool, and just go right down the middle. This right here. See, see, how, see that pink line toward the bottom? That's how I know it's halfway. And let me go ahead and do a stroke so I can kind of see what I'm doing with the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to select all of this, grab our Shape Builder tool, 
and I'm actually going to be able to hold down Option. Notice you see this minus sign. I'm able to subtract objects now. So I'm going to subtract. I could pick either half. I'll just do the left side. So I'm going to just go ahead and subtract any element I don't need. And I am left over with this other half. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and drag this element right on top. Go ahead and just bring it down in the layer system right there. Let's go ahead and find, I already picked out kind of this red for our rocket color. So I'm going to make our main rocket red. And so the layer that we just dragged on top, that's going to kind of be our accent shadow layer. I'm going to also make that red, but I'm going to double click the swatch and I'm going to go a little bit darker. Just a hair. You don't want to do it too much because you don't want too much contrast because then it starts to look fake. So that's probably enough right there. We're going to do the same thing here. Let's copy and paste. Let's take that shape builder tool. We're actually going to shape, take that rectangle tool. And I'm actually going to leave it a solid color so there's not a stroke that's getting in the way. Select all. Get our shape builder tool. Hold down option. So I, I go into subtraction mode and I'm going to subtract. I'm left with this side. Send that back in the layering system. I'm going to go ahead and make this rocket blue. And I'm going to take this half. There we go. There's the half we just created. I'm going to make that the same blue, but make it just a hair darker. There we go. You can kind of see it already starting to look much more 3D. We have one more element to do. And I like how we're getting to practice this a lot. Select all. This is why I'm doing it that way instead of originally not joining them together. We could have just not done that. But I like this method because you get to practice. And you have a full element underneath if you decide that you don't want to do the shading. So this way gives you more options. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of these and I have this kind of gradient gold color. You could do gray if you don't want to have um, any gradients in your logo. And so how, how am I going to create, since it's not solid color, how am I going to create this 3D effect? What I'm going to do is I have the gradient going down from the top to the bottom and I'm actually going to reverse this. So for this right side, I'm going from the bottom to the top and it kind of creates a cool effect there. So I'm going to send that to the back. And actually, instead of doing this all over again, it's the same shape, so I'm just going to copy and paste it and send that to the back. And I think these are already grouped. They're not grouped yet, so I'm just going to group them. And I'll be able to align them. So I'm going to select my left rocket, right rocket. I'm going to go up to alignment. Make sure they're nice and aligned. So there is, we've got one more element to do. 